Hello everyone. We will continue the topic field symbols. And in the previous videos, we studied what is field symbol, what are the various types of field symbol, how to assign a data object to the field symbol, how to assign a part of the data object to the field symbol. So we created two small, small programs. Now what we will do, our next topic in the field symbols is field symbols as a replacement of work area. So many people, yes, they will never, never prefer work area they will use field symbols because they are comfortable in using the field symbols. Now, we can replace field symbols. We can replace work area by field symbols while performing the internal table operations. Suppose we have few internal table operations like loop, read table, modify, append, yes, in all these operations, yes, people prefer field symbols rather than work area. Now the first question which comes into everyone mind, yes, what is the difference between field symbol and work area? Then why, why we are preferring field symbol rather than work area. The difference between a field symbol and the work area is the work area copy a, the work area stores a copy of the internal table row, whereas field symbol directly point to the internal table row. Suppose simple example, if I will show you this simple program, work area stores a copy of the internal table row. Suppose this internal table has five records. One by one, we are passing the record to the work area. So work area has a copy of the internal table row. If you will do something with the work area, it will not impact the internal table because work area has a, is a separate copy itself. If we will do something to the work area, it will not impact the internal table. And just see, one by one, we are passing the record to the work area. So work area is a copy of the internal table row. It means it will occupy memory also. Internal table has its own memory because it has the data. Now one by one, copy is passing to the work area. So work area will also occupy memory. But yes, if rather than work area, if here I will use field symbol, field symbol, we all know rather than work area, if I will use field symbol, field symbol will directly point to the internal table record. Suppose if I am passing first record to the field symbol, so field symbol will directly point to the first record in the internal table itself. We all know field symbol points to the content of the data object. And yes, internal table is a data object itself. And yes, we all know field symbol never occupy memory. So this is the additional advantages of the field symbol. And many people never prefer work area they are comfortable always in using field symbols. Once we go for other operations, you will understand how drastically field symbols are improving the performance if you are not using the work area and you are using the field symbols. So what is the third point? Hence, processing of internal table with field symbol is faster 
as compared to if you are using work area. So what is this? What we covered up to this particular level, we covered, yes, we are replacing work area with the field symbol while performing internal table operations. When, what is the difference between a work area and the field symbol? Whenever you are going for processing of the internal table, suppose just now we took the example of loop internal table operation. We all know loop is the internal table operation by which we are processing the records of internal table one by one. If I will talk about work area, in this case, what work area is? Work area is storing the copy of the internal table. If you will do something with the work area, it will not impact the internal table because we are passing a copy to the work area. But if you are rather than work area, if you are using field symbol, field symbol directly refer the internal table record. If we will pass first record to field symbol, yes, it will directly point to the first record in the internal table contents of first record itself because field symbol is pointing to the content. Second record, it will directly point to second record. Third record, it will directly point to third record. And see, it will not occupy any memory at all because it is pointing to the contents itself. So that's why the processing of internal table with field symbols is faster as compared to work area. Once we will proceed with other internal table operations, yes, you will understand fully. Suppose in this video, what I will do, you can create a very small program. So many times we created this kind of program in which I have a structure type, internal table, work area, and a select option. And I'm fetching data from order header table. And we are displaying that data by, by applying the loop on the internal table. And we are displaying through write statement. You can create a small program in which you are fetching that data and displaying that data by applying the loop and you are using work area. Now, now rather than work area, now I will show you how, how we can use field symbols here. Rather than this work area, I will use field symbols. So what I will do, I will just make a copy. So that in debugging mode, I will show you this part also. I will show you this part also. Suppose now I will firstly declare a field symbol. You all know what is the keyword? Field symbols. You all know we have to give the name between less than and greater than bracket. Suppose my name of the work area is fs underscore data. I am writing type. Now I will simply simply pass the name of my structure type. You all know this is your typed field symbol. Previously in the previous videos I showed you through elementary data type. I used at that time n. n is a numeric data type, which is the elementary data type. Yes. Now I am passing the structure type itself. You all know structure type and table type are the complex data types. So our field symbol is of this particular structure type. Your work area is also this structure type. Yes. This thing we are replacing. Yes. Work area with field symbol. So, but the type of work area is same, which we gave to the work area itself. Because now the work area will take the records one by one. Now, rather than this particular work area, 
Now I will use field symbol. Now how you will assign the records one by one to the field symbol? Why I will use the keyword assign. Now what is the name of your field symbol? I will simply write fs underscore data. Now, rather than now writing the right statement through particular work area, now I will use field symbol. fs underscore data. Now this is your fs underscore data. And this is your, sorry, I'll just copy the right one. This is our fs underscore data. Okay, I'll just replace the column. This is payment mode, total amount. This is payment mode and this is total amount. Now, we should always, always check to avoid the runtime error. Field symbol is assigned or not. So I will simply check if fs underscore data is assigned. Now I will simply go for and if. I will check the syntax and activate up to this particular level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with that we are replacing work area with field symbols in internal table operations. And yes, why, why your field symbol is preferable in internal table operation as compared to work area? Because in case of work area, we are passing, if we, whenever we are performing internal table operation, just now we took the example of loop, we are passing a copy of the record to the internal table. So this internal table independent, this work area independent. This, if we are doing something to the work area, it will not impact the internal table. Suppose internal table has records, it is occupying memory. Now we are passing the record one by one to work area. So that will also occupy memory. But field symbol never occupy memory. Whenever I will assign first record to the field symbol, it will directly point to the first record of the internal table itself. So if I will do something to the field symbol, it will directly change in the internal table. And you all know, yes, we have internal table operation modify. At that time, drastically, it will improve the performance. That part I will cover in the upcoming videos. So after that, you can create a small program in which you are fetching data from any table. Now, rather than work area, you can take work area, then you can take field symbol. I took the type of the field symbol as structure type only. And now this is typed field symbol because I gave a type to this field symbol. Now I use the syntax assigning field symbol and I checked if field symbol is assigned. Now I'm going for writing the data. In the next video, I will show you in the debugging mode. Yes, then I will cover the read internal table operation also. How you can use the field symbol in read internal table operation in this video. We use the field symbol in loop internal table operation. Then we will go for modify also. We will go for append also. So we will see the use of field symbol in all these internal table operations. So that's it in this video. Thank you.